All right, so we're trying to figure out how many grams of ethanol are produced. That's C2H5OH. If we have 100 grams of glucose, C6H12O6, that reacts completely. So here's the equation. It's already balanced. And basically, we have 100 grams of glucose right here. Let's write that in. And we want to know how much ethanol we end up with. So how much do we get? And that's going to be in grams as well. So the process is we're given a quantity and we want to find another quantity. So we're given 100 grams here of the glucose. And then we want to figure out how many grams of the ethanol we end up with. So this diagram helps us think about that. We have grams of glucose. We need to get that to moles. We use the mole ratio. So we have our moles of glucose to get moles of ethanol and then we'll change it back to grams. So that's the process we will follow. And this is very typical for stoichiometry problems. So let's convert our grams to moles. Use the mole ratio to get moles of ethanol, change it back. So if I convert 100 grams of glucose to moles, I'll just divide by the molar mass of glucose, and I end up with 0.56 moles, and that's moles of glucose. Now we need to use this mole ratio here, and we get that from the balanced equation. So our coefficient is 1, 2, and 2. So for every 1 mole of glucose, I get 2 moles of ethanol. So I'm getting twice as much. I just need to double this, and that would give me 1.12 moles of the ethanol here. Now I could multiply this number, the moles of ethanol, by the molar mass of ethanol, and I'd end up with 51.61 grams of ethanol. And that's it. You've solved this problem. You're done. We took our grams of the given, changed it to moles. We looked at the ratio here, the mole ratio, to figure out moles of what we're looking for, the desired. And we just changed that back to grams. If you need help with grams and mole conversions, there's a link in the description. So there are two other ways you could think about this. I'd like to show these to you real quick. So let's get rid of this, give ourselves some room. We'll be doing the exact same set of operations. This just kind of combines some or gives you a different way to look at it. So we said 100 grams of glucose was 0.56 moles. So we could just set up a ratio. 0.56 is to 1 as x is to 2. And then we would just solve for x here. If we cross multiply 1 times x, that equals x. 2 times 0 0.56, 1.12 moles of our glucose here. So that's pretty quick. We changed to moles. We used the ratio. We have moles here, and we could change that to grams. That would give us our answer. Okay, one last way. Your teacher probably showed you this way. This is a great way to do it as well. We're going to use a conversion factor. So we get our moles of the given. So we have our 0 0.56 moles of glucose and we multiply that by a conversion factor. So we want moles of glucose to cancel out. So we need moles of glucose on the bottom and we want to end up with ethanol. So we need moles of ethanol on the top. So this is where we go to our mole ratio. We know that for every one mole of glucose, we get two moles of ethanol. So now we have the mole ratio here and we're going to multiply and then divide moles of glucose cancels out. You have moles of ethanol and you get the same answer again, 1.12 moles, and that's going to be of ethanol. So these are all the same way to approach this using the mole ratio. You may want to start out visually inspect it like we did at first, maybe look at the ratio. And then if your teacher wants you to show your work, they probably want to see these conversion factors. That's it. This is Dr. B looking at how many grams of ethanol are produced if we have 100 grams of glucose reacting completely. Thanks for watching.